impressed that they didn't leave the vehicle until they were told. Now this was a useless choice. We are trying the Aldi cheeseburger and chicken burger. So we're making a quick getaway this morning. Now today, Consort are going to be having a look at a little electrical problem we've got. Being Valentine's night, will we manage to get a table? Mmm, yummy. Scrambled eggs, that looks good. Thank you very much. Morning everybody. So it's time to leave the Nairsborough site. We've just done the uh, water fill up. How long did that take? Oh, well, we were virtually empty and I would say it probably took a good half hour and we're not totally full. I had to give up because otherwise we're going to be late. So we're leaving the Nairsborough Caravan and Motorhome Club site and today's plan is to head down to Leeds We've got an appointment with Consort Motorhomes at 10 o'clock. One of the many things we like about Consort Motorhomes is their location. Now, being in the centre of Leeds might sound terrible, but uh, they're right on a motorway junction. So very easy to get to. Here we are again. Now today, Consort are going to be having a look at a little electrical problem we've got. And also, of course, we're going to ask them to take a look at the diesel heater as well. Oh yeah, customer parking. Shutters are shut. Well, we're out from Consort and we met Veronica and Paul whilst we were in there. Had a lovely chat for several hours. So very nice to meet you if you're watching this. An electrical uh, power unit has been switched in the van, the heater has been checked and everything is working as it should do. We need to find a park up. It's Valentine's night so fancy a meal out. And we're heading to Holmfirth at the moment. Now, being Valentine's night, will we manage to get a table? What do you think? We were in luck. We are at the Mexicali in Holmfirth. Now, I went for the Smokehouse Stack Burger. It's a steak patty, buttermilk chicken, barbecue pulled pork, smoked brisket, smoked ham, onion rings, melted cheese, red onion, tomato, lettuce, pickle and mayo. And I went for the mac and brisket burrito, a jalapeno mac and cheese with birra beef bis brisket, smoky bacon and cheese, all wrapped in a grilled burrito served with cheese sauce and fries. It was all very tasty, service was good, but the music was too loud. And after that, we fell into our luxury hotel room in the middle of the car park. just woken up in this car park so we're making a quick getaway this morning quick out of bed get dressed and move off we quite like these early morning starts makes it all more exciting okay. so that was crown bottom car park in Holmfirth where it's free to park from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m. And we had uh, no trouble there at all last night. We're making a quick getaway. We don't bother to wash, put the bed away or anything like that. We just jump in the front and drive off somewhere else and do all of that sort of stuff at our leisure. We're heading for a spot called Castle Hill, which is just outside Huddersfield. The roads here remind me of World War I trenches. We shall see. Won't meet anybody this time in the morning. It's only 7.35. <laughs> Tired. 
top of the hill. Now we can have a wash and get the van tidied up. Mm -hmm. That'll do us, won't it, buddy? Lovely. This is Castle Hill, very close to Huddersfield in West Yorkshire. There used to be an Iron Age hill fort here at one time, but the most prominent landmark is Victoria Tower, which was completed in 1899 to celebrate Queen Victoria's 60th anniversary. That looks like a table and chairs at the top. You could perhaps do them in the frying pan. It'd be quicker to cook, wouldn't it? She's putting them back. We've changed their mind and we're going for potato wedges instead. Got me Guinness. Okay. Yeah. Smoky beef brisket with potato wedges and coleslaw. Yeah. We've got lamb mince with onion that we've already got, yeah. carrots and so-so. Yeah. And peas and black peas. Yeah. And we've got the Cajun chicken, carrots and greens. Okay, that'll do. You've got a haul of goodies, Bunny. On the fridge. So this should stop up the fridge nicely. Good. Stop it rattling. Stop it rattling. You like your high fridge, don't you? Just uh, filled up our supplies at Aldi. We do like an Aldi, don't we? We do. Yeah, because we haven't got one near us, so it's nice to have a little treat around Aldi. Now we're heading to Marbury Country Park. Yeah, for a lazy day. And it's going to take us about an hour and a quarter to get there, so have a nice drive. Lucky rainbow. Mm -hmm. Up here, yeah. but it's very Girl windy. Bunny. Yeah, and this is a burger van open. I don't think so. is at 5 p.m. to be gone by then. Thanks for cooking. You're welcome. We are trying the Aldi cheeseburger and chicken burger, half mm -hmm. each, to see what they're like. What do you reckon of the chicken then? Mm, it is a bit of a strange texture. Yeah. Whether it would be better if it would be microwaved. And I can't imagine it would be crispy. You can't make something crispy in a microwave. Mm. I didn't like the chicken one. No. I ate it because it was my duty, mm. but I didn't like it. The um, beef burger one's very nice, aren't they? Very nice. Interesting that this dog doesn't jump out of the car. He just sits there having a good old look until his owners are ready. What are you trying to do? a post on Facebook. There's a lot involved in all this social media malarkey. Oh, very well behaved dogs, well trained. Very impressed that they didn't leave the vehicle until they were told. 
I've been experimenting with this heater. Sometimes it fails to start and then you can get a big cloud of smoke coming out the exhaust. Anyway, what it might have been is that we were only asking it to heat maybe one or two degrees before the temperature we needed was met. Um, so what we started doing now is when we turn the heater on, we select a heat much higher than we need. And then I think that allows the heater to really get going. Nice to get out, isn't it? Yeah, in between the rain showers. Yeah. It's clearing up nicely now, but I think there's more rain to come. I didn't move much. My watch said well done and I'd only just stepped <laughs> just out of the car uh, stood up. camper van. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's certainly been a very wet start to the year. I think Carol thought she was about to get muddy paws then. The dog didn't go for me saw this fluffy thing on top of the camera and obviously wanted to know what it was yeah we've basically just got the wrong footwear for this haven't we yeah we haven't got the right footwear with us well boot walk yeah and then you wouldn't you wouldn't have to concentrate where you're walking yeah here's the old procession of trees it's all very pretty isn't it Standing here. Oh, it's going that way. All right. You thought you were going to get a close up of the pony, but it turned off. I know. Well, it's going fast. I'm going to get a photo. I knew it disappeared. It's gone. Okay. Marbury Country Park. Now, if that felt dreary and drab, that is exactly how we were feeling walking around there. Yeah. That's Leeds in the distance, and we're hunting for a park up, and there might be one down here on the left. By the pole, please. Let's see if this road closure is really a road closure. The signs are laying in the hedge, so maybe they've finished. Yeah, we came here in Little Red, yeah. and we just... Um, I think we might have stopped and had a couple Now this was a useless choice because we couldn't park because of the overhanging trees and we had a devil of a job turning around as well. No, don't feed the horses. By the time we got out of there, we were a bit fed up. So we went into Frodsham looking for solace in the form of an Indian restaurant. What are you doing, Charlie? Oh, have we gone live? No, five minutes. <coughs> oh, I see. It's important to check when you've gone live because sometimes it doesn't work and then people end up getting a bit disappointed. The India Garden turned out to be very good indeed and it's the first time we've ever been given a free starter. <sighs> Bless you. Oh dear. Right, we're here parked at the side of the road in our park up tonight mm. and we haven't got any heating have we Charlie? No, no uh, it's packed up. Diesel heater has packed up finally given up the ghost and locked us out of the system. Mm. We do know that there's a reset function mm. and I could call consort and I know that they would help me even though it's late at night mm. but we're not going to bother them today. It's not that cold. It's not that it's cold. Fine. We'll be fine. And I'll make contact with them tomorrow to see if we can reset it. But uh, I think we'll be going back to consort because I've lost faith in this heating system. And we need to get it replaced because it's been a pain, basically, since we picked the van up. Yeah, hasn't it's had it? several faults on it. Several faults on yeah. it. And it can be quite embarrassing because when it mm. decides to fall, if you're in amongst where other people are parked, mm. it belches out horrible smoke. smoke. It's and embarrassing. It makes a backfiring noise. Yeah. So it's, it's doing that today and I can't it's, hunt, some, it? it's something wrong. I had to go out today and apologise to a, mm. a man with his small kiddie that had just mm. come back from a walk. Mm. 
I thought I'd pick my time right, but just as I we we tried it one more time, they came back, didn't they? Mm, and yeah. Typical. Just you know, just at the point where it was going to belch the smoke mm. as well. Anyway, I'm sure Consort will fix it. Mm. Um, they've managed to fix everything so far, mm -hmm. and there's one thing left to solve, and that's this diesel heater. Mm. We'll keep you updated. What day is it today then, Bunny? Saturday. It's Saturday the 17th yeah. of it's February. February. And we had a very peaceful night here. We're in a little side street near a burger van in the town of Frodsham. Um, well, I say we had a peaceful night. <laughs> At about two o'clock, we had a local gentleman outside shouting some very rude words which I cannot possibly repeat on YouTube, but it did remind me of my days in the job when I used to deal with those people. <laughs> but he wasn't shouting at us. He was trying to get home, it sounded like, and he might have been on a phone, swearing somebody on a phone. Anyway, we just kept quiet and uh, he, he left, didn't he, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, and he was right outside the van. There's times to keep quiet and there's times to say something. If you ever hear anybody touching your van, shout at them. But if they might not know you're there, then you can keep quiet. And that was the thing we did last night, wasn't it? Anyway, we're off now to... To the Anderton boat lift. And hopefully today we'll get our heating working again because Dan from Consor is going to give us a ring soon. It's free entry into this uh, exhibition. You don't see that very often, do you? Oh yeah. Wonder why it's like that. Maybe it's uh, a defence against flooding. Uh, this place is open at 10 o'clock, so is it 10 o'clock yet? These old slot machines. They've got a supply yeah. of old pennies if you want to have a go on them. Near Anderton Village in Cheshire, northwest England, there's a boat lift that provides a 50 foot vertical link between the River Weaver and the Trent and Mersey Canal. The lift operates by using two water filled caissons that counterbalance each other, requiring relatively little power to lift the boats up and down. It was built in 1875 by Edwin Clark. It was the world's first boat lift and served as a prototype for many others across the world. You're enjoying that sun, are you? Yeah. Do you say there's otters down here and kingfishers? Yes, but not today. <laughs> Can't say I like walking by this edge. Now, I think what the amazing thing is, have you noticed what's missing? No. There's no be careful signs or, you know, danger, you're going to fall in or anything like that. So we're obviously in a part of the country that relies on common sense. It's your own fault. It's your own fault. It. And you're right too. In normal circumstances, you could take this boat and have a ride in the lift. But we were told as we came in this morning that they're not able to do any of that because they've got problems taking money today. Their system's not working. 
looks like it's standing only there's no seats in it they're tough up here bunny yeah. they don't need softy seats up here you know time for a cup of tea i think we've seen it all now yeah now carol's got a great idea to start a fridge magnet collection yeah because they've got a big magnet on the back yeah let's get that one yeah you got your magnet then yes first the, magnet on the fridge the ceremony for the first magnet is there uh, drinks and canapes well we'll be put the bunting out i didn't know we had any bunting uh, and the fairy lights but i'm dubious it's quite heavy it's not, it's gonna, not stick. gonna stick it's not uh oh it's not that magnetic so it'll be on our freezer at home you're having a double sausage back with mustard and i'm having a sausage and egg Crumbs, cheesy bap with two sausages delicious thank you very much oh. Lightly runny egg. Perfect. <laughs> now that's a perfect egg bunny. You're proud of that one, I'm aren't you? I'm happy with that one. They don't normally come out that good. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Enjoy. Well, those Aldi sausages mm. were cheap as chips, weren't they? Just over a pound or something. 189 they were. 189 mm. And yet, I rate them alongside my favourite sausage, which is Black Farmer, mm. which are much more expensive, aren't they? They're over three pounds. Mm. Very, very tasty. They were Cumberland, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Right, washing up time. Doing the dishes. Delicious. Remember you saying that when we were in Little Red? very early on in our journeys and you were so happy and it's like, doing the dishes yeah <laughs> that was when you used to sit punched up i used to like to doing the dishes now it's even better standing up yeah doing it's the dishes space. standing up yeah. <laughs> thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up Share us with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon.